Okay, so here's what's going down today. There's a lot to take in with this loadout. I think Traveler's Chosen perfects this loadout. Arguably better than Peacekeepers on controller because Peacekeepers lack a problem. If the enemy knows you're trying to get an SMG range, they won't let you. Arbor Warden, that's the solution. Throw your barricade. Not that Peacekeepers don't have that solution. They've always had it with the Glacier Nade. The difference is you could play a different subclass like Arc or Strand or something like that and still be able to what they call cut space. And being able to backpack lightning grenades to handle other barricades to count as extra abilities for surplus, multiple opportunities to proc osmosis, get to change all my mods to arc. I don't even think this needs kinetic targeting, first of all. So if I wanted to run something like sidearm shotgun, I could. I could definitely get away with it. You would think it's going to have a range problem, but it's really just a patience problem. As long as you can wait and manage your cooldowns and Arbor Warden, especially with multiple of them, you're going to be able to build a game plan around cutting space to isolate fights or to get in close. And if you succeed with Traveler's Chosen, you get to consume the stacks that you're building to refill all of your abilities. Note that you carry two lightning grenades on the longest cooldown, so it refills those. If I was playing this ultra serious, I would go shoulder charge to help me cut space even better. But Arbor Warden also enables the best thunderclap because you could throw a barricade at your feet, charge within the safety of your barricade, and if it looks bad, flick a different direction if you're on MMK. If you're on controller, you're just going to suffer. Of course, I recommend only sidearms on controller. Past that, I'm looking forward to the new Trials version of this. I don't know what it's going to be, but if I had to pick a long arm roll, D2 Foundry, it would look something like this. Always going to be hip fire. And the mod is always either going to be radar booster, hip fire, or radar tuner, depending on what input device I'm playing and how good my hip fire is that day. If Swashbuckler was on this column, I'd just lock in hip fire because now it's my melee tool, which is probably why they've never put that perk there. We can revisit that if the Trials one has it. Anyway, Adrenaline Junkie is nice because this can shift the precision ratio. But also, we don't, we don't know how it's going to be on March 5th, by the way. This works in the backpack. So if I had my Traveler's Chosen out, pick up a grenade kill, this just works. Or if I get one kill, switch to Traveler's Chosen, switch back, this times one will still linger. So it's very, very useful. High impact reserves is worth mentioning because you can purposely keep the gun at one or two bullets. So you always hit hard. And then explosive payload double hits this uh, origin trait. And this origin trait is changing to be more hip fire oriented. So the fact that I like this on controller right now and it's only going to get better and the trials version is going to come out and probably will have something I want makes me excited to use these more. I still think accurized rounds or steady rounds, depending on how much you're jumping. Ideally, steady rounds, because I can use this with Lion Rampant on mouse and keyboard and have some fun. As for the barrels, weirdly with scouts, I really like building into range, because if I'm pulling out a scout, the last thing I want is damage drop off. So that's where I lean with it. But on the second hand, Stability matters too, because even if you're hit for 10 damage by an igneous hammer across the map or whatever it is, it's going to flinch you off your your time to kill. Not even like your optimal. You might still miss that body shot because of igneous flinch. Never count it out. Rocket launcher is the same as usual. There you go. It's my answer to a different way to play the Peacekeeper playstyle. It's like, it's that good. So right off the rip, I want to backpack my barricade so it can charge in the background. This is kind of like having one and a half barricades. Like right here, I could get sniped if I peek, right? So we're just throwing that. Uh, not exactly where I wanted to snake that, but that's okay. Teammates are going crazy right now. Uh, this has bad hip fire, by the way. See ya. Want to work on my hip fire cross hair placement? 
go in and out of ADS just like that. Like, that is as perfect as it gets, even with the jiggle in there. Popping off right now. Pop the bubble. Pop the bubble. There it is. That's what we're waiting for. All right, this map has a lot of long angles. Idea here, use Arbor Warden, throw Barricade, cut space to get in with the sidearm, and while I wait, we long arm. Always need to backpack this as soon as possible. If I see red, I'm just throwing this. I don't have to announce my presence with the barricade, but I can use it to escape. Did they already cross in? Yeah, they are popping off right now. I know there's one behind me. Oh, I can't believe they let me do that. Oh, I didn't check for the final threadling. That's fine. And now I pretty much instantly have another barricade, so that's why this exotic is amazing. I'm not making it to C in time. They're not going to power? I want to take my sidearm duel and not my power ammo duel. Nice. If only this had Swashbuckler. Alright, I have another Lightning Nade. Surely he wouldn't do it twice. My abilities back. I just start playing for the body shot more often with this. Because 50 damage means a lot to my sidearm. Saves a bullet. Oh, that was ugly aim. It's all good. We fixed it. Okay, so now I'm going to wait until I have my barricade. Watch this. I backpack it. Immediately refill. And look. Closer to the next barricade. Boom. Everyone's going to run out this hallway like maniacs.
I need Orba. Oh, if I got Orba in melee, that might have been it. Oh, he just tried to do the swag dodge and got punished for it. Okay, how close am I to the next? Pretty close to the next barricade. I'm guessing it's going to be a flag fight, so I'm just going to... Elevation, weird angle, wait on it. I'll backpedal as soon... Okay, they're splitting. Psych, hug this wall. Close off the other fight. Boom. No. Huge. Controller moment. Refill. Unlucky. I probably should have supered there. But the barricade did its job. It isolated my 1v1. If I had Ballistic Slam, I would send it all the way to C right now. Pay attention. Correct weapon out. He's getting meleeed, right? Oh, I bailed you out of that. You got so lucky he didn't get rubber banded. Like that. He definitely saw me go up. Traveler's Chosen Juice. Oh no, he got his health back for that. Oh, be careful for a shotgun. Psyche has an SMG. Uh, scout lane. So if they don't have a scout, I just win. Oh, they, they had the father of this gun. He went into B. Ah, oh, I got pinched. I thought for sure he was pushing B. That's on me. I'm trying to focus on hip fire crosshair placement and then also just getting any amount of damage out of the scout before I commit with the sidearm. Oh, yeah, poke it over it. That works for me. All right, get back here. Refill, refill. Double barricade, Fortnite. No, that's mine. Oh, that super's going crazy right now. All right, triple cap. I can definitely use the multiplier. I, I don't care if they grab power. It's fine. Keep the match. All right. I got gamers in the pool. Gamers in the pool. Oh, I overslid that. I should have got punished. Oh, good shotgun. That ballistic slam, I think, knocked me in the air, which stopped my charge up, by the way, if you're wondering, like, what happened in that interaction. Surely they know I'm damaged. Our teammates clearing. That was a weird animation. Solid scout map.
Where's the wall? There's the wall. Oh, there's the wall. Oh, dog. Hold up. And just for good measure, a Nosk. 